artificial intelligence sometimes behaves a little bit different than we expected or we wanted. As some of you have argued already in the comment sections below my videos, thank you therefore. The sketch solver sometimes behaves a little bit weird and increases um, the amount of time we spend on sketching. Well, after one and a half year now, I have to say that in a sum, I'm a fan of the new sketch solver, but of course, some problems I'm still detecting. Still, I don't worry about that because I'm interested in finding workarounds and communicating those in order to make the sketch solver one of the best solvers on the market. However, let's talk about a very, very strange problem. Well, it's not strange, but it occurs a lot and a possible workaround. Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Simon from BizLearn. Hi, and welcome to a new YouTube tutorial about the new sketch solver. I'm using major release 2007, the minor is 2008, so it's not the latest, but as some of you have even lower majors, this might be interesting for every new sketch solver user. What you see here is a first sketch, including a rectangle and a second sketch, including nothing. I wanna create geometry here and the reference to this external geometry. How can we create a reference? Well, we could include one curve after the other, but this is also done automatically when you, for example, use the offset function here and select connected curves. Of course, the filter needs to be with a work part. It's one click. Four include curves are gonna be created, four individual include curves. This could be persistent, everything's fine. I'm just gonna undo this, works as designed. What I prefer using instead of include is, as in the past, project curve. This is possible since project curve has been released <laughs> many, many years ago. Um, this is how we can also create an individual reference to external geometry in an associative manner. Why do I prefer project curve over include? Just because before I've created four include curves indirectly, and now I'm gonna create one project curve. So it's one relation to the entire sketch, for example. If I right click here, feature curves. So if there's a modification in this sketch, meaning curves are added, or the polygon number of sides is gonna be modified, this is recognized by project curve and also the second sketch will be updated, possibly, <laughs> if this is your intent. I'm just gonna apply this. So curves are projected. The question now is, does NX find relations to external geometry? No, of course not, because it's external. As you can see here, no relation. If you double click this, a project curve will be opened. I'm just going to display persistent relations. Um, as you can see, project curve is no persistent relation. It's project curve. All right, let's create an offset again. Um, to connect the curves in that case, I'm going to select this one and distance is five and it's a persistent relation. If I reset this, by the way, persistent relation is not enabled by default. So I'm going to do this manually. Select my curves, five millimeters. Fine. Also, this works as it should. And now let's talk about the problem. One of my customers sent me this situation here, two sketches, project curve and offset. He was driving the offset value by an expression in order to create a part family. Sometimes the value needed to be zero. Well, usually I would say dimension value zero shall be avoided. By the way, some people used to create dimensions instead of relations or in the past constraints by using the value zero, don't do it. Once you open all the parts which have zero values in its dimensions, an X will create mistakes. The new sketch solver will have mistakes. In some cases, super hard to, to solve the problems as you will see now. Once I modify this value to zero, which shall be fine because it's a persistent offset curve relation. I mean, you can imagine what's gonna happen. We've got eight curves now, eight lines. 
Those are collinear. Those are coincident here. So we have one, two, three, however, uh, coincident relations here, 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 and here which are detected by the great artificial intelligence new sketch solver. There are limitations, of course, and this is one limitation at the moment, because once you are trying to increase the value again, there's the standard alert, try relaxing dimensions and or relations. I mean, you can try it. I could demonstrate it. It's not going to work. This problem it's pretty easy to solve, by the way, but there's a workaround required, a further feature we need. The problem is, I mean, I'm talking about a rectangle here. It's not a very complex um, geometry. But a line includes a lot of information. Those lines are now collinear, coincident here, they have equal length, etc, 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 and the offset relation as well. We need to decrease the number of information in order to solve our problem here. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to undo the last steps. So there is no geometry now within this sketch. If I select it, there's no geometry. I'm going to finish this. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm trying to create relations, not towards the entire curve here. I'm going to reduce the information which I'm going to send towards the second sketch. How can we do this? Well, you could use points, for example, instead of um, the entire lines. A point does not have a dimension. It's just a point, And there won't be so many relations found. And I could now create four individual points, or I could use the point set instead. Uh, select the entire sketch like this. I think I have to use curve percentage. And I will have to select again like this. I'm going to be using 50%. So it's in the center of each curve, depending on the number of selected curves, in an associative manner. In that case, if I right click here feature curves, there are going to be points created. In some of our use cases, um, it's just one line. So what you just have to do is create one point in the center of the line, for example, or two points, however, but thereby you will reduce the information that is processed by the sketch solver. Now I'm going to activate sketch number two, I'm going to double click it and import the points I could use include now, or project curve again. So a relation to the entire feature here, point set, you can see four points here. I'm going to apply. <laughs> the workaround, of course, is a little bit longer. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to use by two points just like this. The points are projected. And now I'm going to create relations. like this. As you can see, this workaround is long. We usually do not project rectangles, we usually project one curve, we usually create one reference to one external object. What you ha just have to do is create a point instead of using the entire line, because um, thereby less relations are going to be detected by the software. And this definitely makes life easier. I've got four dimension values, I could now, however, create um, a relation between those, or just leave it as it is, I'm gonna just modify this one, for example, as you can see, of course, there, there is a um, coincident relation, a point on curve relation found, which is going to be relaxed. As you can see by the magenta color here, this is going to be relaxed and it is possible to change the value here in any direction you want. So this is a very abstract situation here with the rectangle, but I think there's a lot of information you can adopt towards your specific use case. And I hope you have learned something and this is going to help you in the future to avoid some problems to understand 
the reactions of the sketch solver because it's just artificial and I'm really looking forward to the new majors and minors where problems like these might be solved. I'm also looking forward to your reactions. Please comment if you want. Tell me about your problems, your solutions, um, because I would like to show them in my next videos if you allow, if you want me to. Anyway, thanks for watching until now. Of course, don't forget to like this video, share this video in order to support my channel. And if you haven't yet, use the subscribe button and the notification toggle in order to be informed about new uploads. Have a nice day and goodbye.